Good afternoon, Germantown. Welcome to the Germantown virtual presentation of graduates. Graduates, well done. I'm very proud of you. You've gone through a year of ups and downs, excitement, and unfortunately we had to leave with unexpected fastness with the COVID-19. You'll always be known as the group that survived COVID. Uh, this time has been challenging. It's challenging for those, those of us left here in the buildings and walking around and not seeing your smiling faces, not hearing your laughter, not hearing your joys and excitement of being a senior. And we are truly, truly sorry for that. We miss you. I miss you. You're my family. And family, sometimes it's tough. Graduates, one of the things that I look back over the year and I see, I see the beauty that each one of you brings to this world. No matter who you are, no matter where you came from, when you came to Germantown, you became part of the GHS family. Moms and dads, thank you. Thank you for allowing us the opportunity to serve your children and making them our children when they come on this campus. Every day I go from having two boys of my own to 2,000. You are my students, you are my children, and I respect that, and I respect each of you for everything that you've done. And I wanna honor you, and I wanna say how proud I am to stand before you and say, job well done. Graduates, as you go out into this world, remember the foundations that Germantown High School has taught you. The integrity, the honor, the trust, the joy of life, and how to deal with the ups and downs. We've gone through a traumatic time period over the last few weeks, and we will continue. But I know, deep in my heart, we've given you tools to break those barriers, to go through those tribulations and trials, and to be successful. And the most important thing each of you have done is taken a part of yourself, that little part, and spread it out to the world. As we go out into the world, it's not so long, it's not goodbye, it's so long until we see you again. And folks, parents, students, graduates, I look forward to hearing the great accomplishments that you do. And I know that sitting out there amongst you are future lawyers, doctors, construction workers, astronauts, possibly even a president that can lead, and you will lead us, and you will do it with honor and dignity and respect. Congratulations, congratulations. I'm proud of you. Stay strong. Remember, go Red Devils and stay the course. We will succeed, and you will succeed. I'm proud of you, and have a great afternoon. Thank you. When you think about it, the only thing that separates us in this room is an assortment of numbers. But at the end of the day, we're all the same, right? We're a group of people all existing at once at the same point in time, the same point in space, who all just so happen to be moving on to a different point in space, a different point in time. What I just read was a portion of the salutatorian speech I started writing on February 4th. This was the speech I thought I was going to be giving until March 12th. I feel like we all vaguely remember that day, or at least when we first heard that we'd be going back on March 30th. I remember hearing about it in second period and just being baffled. Nothing like this had ever happened before, not to us. And yet, dates continued letting us down. March 30th became April 6th, April 6th became April 24th, and then we all threw our hands up into the air and the date never came. We finished high school on March 12th, 2020. And now we are past May 16th, the date we were supposed to graduate. I remember when I first started writing this speech back in February, I was looking up salutatorian speeches online to give me an example of what to say or do. But now I realize that in all those examples, things went according to plan. So instead, I'm doing this completely from scratch, a speech tailored to the class of 2019-2020 or as they'll probably call us for years to come, the class of COVID-19, 2020. To call this situation unfair would be an understatement. It really does feel like we've had everything we were promised ripped away from us, doesn't it? Not even by a force we could control, 
There is no one person or group or organization to blame. All those dates we had to scratch out of our calendars with a red pen, the events that we deleted off our phones, the papers filled with important dates to remember ripped up in front of us. And the worst part of it all is that we can't fight back or protest or even beg. There's nothing we can do to get back our lost time, our lost dates. That being said, I'm sure everyone wishes they weren't living through a major historical pandemic right now, but we cannot change that. We are part of history now. We will always go down as the class of COVID. The title has been etched into us and we can never remove it. And while we won't go off into the sunset marching, wearing it as a badge of honor, we can't ignore it either. All we can do is accept it. Just as we are part of history, history is a part of us. Though we may want to forget the parts of history, the dates where we failed or came crumbling down, we cannot. We will always remember these days of quarantine and tell the story of the class of COVID to the next generation. We can't get the dates we missed back, nor can we be certain now of what date this will all be over. But know that in the future, everything will eventually be okay. It sounds simple, but that's the phrase that keeps me going. It's just knowing that no matter what happens, no matter what hardships you face or obstacles stand in your way, that you will be okay. In these incredibly dark and scary times where we may feel insignificant or hopeless, I remember a quote by one of my favorite writers, Joseph Fink. Be proud of your place in the cosmos. It is small and yet it is. How unlikely, how fantastic. Remember that through these, though these days are dark, there is always a light at the end of the tunnel. I hope that all of you are able to find some comfort in these times and remember, one day we will have events again. Not every day will feel like an endless cycle of morning and night. We will have dates again one day, I know it. Thank you. Hello, I am truly honored to be here today representing the Red Devil class of 2020. Now before I address the elephant in the room, I would like to say that I was not expecting to be in this position. If you had told me freshman year that I would be delivering the speech, I would not have believed you because our class is full of so many intelligent, hardworking, and charismatic people. People like the captains of our state wing athletic teams, people like the leaders of our clubs that give back to the community, and people like the students who single-handedly coordinated our school's first black history program. Our class is awesome. We may not know everyone's names or what their future plans are, but we are all bonded by our shared experiences in these last four years. I'm sure everyone remembers the crazy football games we had, the funny phone jingles that played over our intercom every morning before Christmas, and the many other defining moments of this year. However, in our senior year, our time was cut short. We didn't know that our last day would be that fateful Thursday before spring break. None of us could have predicted that we wouldn't get to say goodbye to our teachers and friends or that we wouldn't have to take senior exams. We thought that we were invincible, that nothing could stop us from having the perfect senior year. Now I could go on and on about what our class has missed, but no one wants to hear what we already know. Instead, I want to tell you what I've learned from my time at home. Since our initial quarantine, we all found ourselves with an unprecedented amount of free time. This was unthinkable to me. A senior who had been in a constant cycle of eat, sleep, study, and repeat. Of course, I still had assignments from my teachers, but after finishing them, I realized I could do whatever I wanted. I caught up on the latest TV shows, I tried new recipes, and I even started reading again. But what I enjoyed most was spending time with my family. Out of all the things I did, I liked being with my family the most good old social interaction. I had been missing spending time with the people I love, and soon after, I began to wish that I could see my friends again for one last time. As Andy Bernard from The Office once said, I wish there was a way to know that you're in the good old days before you've actually left them. Knowing what I know now, I would have appreciated the time that I had spent walking in the halls of Germantown High. I wouldn't have dreaded waking up to go to school at 7 a.m. I wouldn't have complained about all the tests we had to take, nor would I have griped about all the essays we had to write. Instead, I would have cherished every moment in class, every friendly talk with the school staff, and every single time that I was with my friends. I would have counted my blessings each day. So I ask that you, my classmates and family, reflect on the happy moments in your life right now and savor them. Enjoy the time you have with those you love and forge new memories for the future. 
And with that, I would like to express gratitude to those who have accompanied me on this journey. Thank you, teachers and staff, for devoting all of your time and effort into making sure that my classmates and I graduate on time. Thank you, friends, for lending me your support, whether it was emotional, tangible, or academic. And finally, thank you, mom and dad, for believing in my potential and pushing me to challenge myself. That goes for all the parents of the graduates here today. From kindergarten to 12th grade, you helped nurture us into the young men and women that we have become. Thank you. I can officially say without a doubt that we are graduating. Congratulations, class of 2020. I'm Ian Clark, 2009 graduating class of Germantown High School, and I just want to say congratulations to the 2020 graduating class. I'm so proud of you guys, and um, I know with everything going on, um, you guys still did it. So it's a lifelong journey, um, and best, best to you guys for your future endeavors, um, moving on and going to the next level. Congrats again.
Thank you.